Gallery um, in Parktown, North Johannesburg, where Andrew Shabanga and Rene Paul Savignon have a show called Bridges, which I believe is 15 years. Um, the fruits of 15 years of labor um, looking at religious observation um, and the spiritual. Okay, now we must ask the question. How did you and Rene Paul Savignon come up with this decision to take photographs of religion and religious gathering? I think when, when, we're, showing, when, when we're showing in Bamako, um, already maybe I had three or four pictures that I was showing around there. So we came up with different ideas, but eventually we decided to work on, uh, on spirituality. And because spirituality as well, it gives an opportunity to go to the people's houses and to photograph them in certain moments and in certain times as well. And I think that was the thing, uh, uh, important for us to, to, to observe that and to do that. So Rene Paul has taken these photographs of, of unnamed individuals in La Reunion, um, and yet you can see that they're in front of some, some religious icon. Um, who are they and, 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 and what are they doing? So we wanted to talk about the duality of um, religions. Was, um, you, you know, people, when, uh, the Indians, were, they also went to reunion as in, in Dejan, uh, levels, and their uh, religion is uh, it's Hindu, Hinduism. But since reunion is a French-speaking country, in a French-speaking country, they are Catholics. So we wanted to show those dualities. Yeah, this is Mr. Valentin with his family here yeah, next, next to the crosses. And in that piece, it's him as well when he's uh, uh, celebrating his Hinduism religion. So let's take a walk over and have a look at the same gentleman. So what, so what you're saying, in fact, is that this gentleman embraces two religions in his life. Spirituality, yes, two, two religions. It here is, is it's about the chicken sacrifice. And there, like I said, it's more about the Western or Catholicism. Okay, so then a final question. If you can take the whole experience from your point of view and talk about what you've really learned about religion and ritual and, and, and the observation of, of, of the holy in these two locations, what would the lesson be that you took from that? I think to be tolerant, uh, because sometimes you go to the spaces and religion ceremonies which are totally different from what we normally used to. And so that has taught me to be, to be patient and to be tolerant of things that I'm, I don't necessarily uh, understand or know. Are you a religious man yourself? I am, I am, I am. I'm, 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 I'm Catholic. Okay, so then the show had particular resonance for you? Not, not because this, this, this show is about two friends working together in a particular, uh, uh, on a particular subject, but it has nothing to do with my point of view of, uh, of, of religious, uh, religi religious uh, experiences. It made me more tolerant and, and more to be more patient with other people. I guess maybe that tolerance and it's also maybe had to do with religion. Uh, the idea of being kind to people that you necessarily don't know and the idea of that appreciating people's spaces as well when we didn't know about them. Mm -hmm.